While you were kickstarting the US cycling team's official heads up display, you may have missed a high jumping robo roach, scientists getting smashy with bacteria, and this real life game of Pong. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we're already stacking quarters for the next game of this IRL Pong table. Researchers from Seoul National University and UC Berkeley showed off their robotic cockroach at a recent conference in Sweden. The two ounce jump roach uses a DC motor and eight latex bands to store energy, along with all of the creepiness you've come to love from regular roaches. Ew. The jump roach can leap a horrifying five feet thanks to its mechanical knees, then use its shell to reposition itself for the next jump. So yeah, taking up a hobby like stilt walking is looking pretty good. <laughs> the jump roach, fortunately, does not have wings yet, but may eventually gain the ability to glide, so I already know what tonight's nightmares are going to be about. <laughs> With NASA looking to land an astronaut on Mars within a decade, scientists are already looking to minimize humanity's impact on the red planet once they get there. But the biggest problem won't be the people, it'll be the bacteria we bring with us. Pollution. People can stop it. That's why researchers at BYU are smashing those microscopic bugs against walls at 670 miles per hour. Turns out the bacteria didn't even notice. Up to about 300 meters per second, which is over 600 miles per hour, and they simply bounce off the surface and roll around and they're just fine. While that may help explain whether life on Earth started somewhere else, it also means we're going to have to find new ways to keep microscopic stowaways from infesting the rest of the solar system. And now for TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Chance the Rapper's coloring book is the first streaming exclusive to make the Billboard 200. A legion of thieves stole $12.7 million from Japanese ATMs in under two hours. Microsoft finished killing off what was left of Nokia. MIT exploited heat to make the most efficient solar cell yet. And NASA discovers that Mars has yet to recover from a 400,000 year old ice age. Have a good Memorial Day, everybody, and thank you so much to all of our troops.